Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Nick and Richard from Polywog. Today, we're reviewing the JS Black Box 3. Um, this is in hi fi. Uh, we spoke quite a lot about the hi fi technology from JS uh, in the review of the Psycho Nitro, so you can check that out. Uh, yeah, Rich, take it away, bro. Give us some insight into what this stick's all about. Yeah, cool, man. So, the Black Box 3. Um very popular board from, from, from JS last year. Um, globally sold really well. Um, yeah, kind of a, you know, one of those boards that if you, again, you know, haven't got the bucks for a giant quiver um, and, you know, you're looking for an all day, every day board, this board is, is, is certainly one to consider. Um, yeah. You know, as Nick mentioned, the half hour construction um, allows this thing to sit very nicely on top of the water. Uh, if we look on the other side, you've obviously got the controlled flex and exquisite cloth and finishes. This thing has got a giant concave, which obviously mm. will give it huge amounts of speed it transitions into a double between the fins actually got a very flat very super very flat tail. tail which which a lot of people might not necessarily appreciate gives you drive and speed from yeah power. yeah so that's that made for like your really small grovelly days um, that flatter tail gives you all the drive that you need over those flat bits. I think a lot of people yeah, are sometimes I mean, hesitant yeah, with that because it's just not not sexy. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, you know, if you look at the product description of this board, it is it's more daily driver, smaller waves, mm. sort of all around everyday board. And I mean, I really find that interesting because I, I mean, it's certainly I've, we're lucky enough to again ride this board in onshore beach breaks um, and then a lot of running point break waves and mm. again you can't screw with a controlled flex of this thing but this board has got for lack of better words a shitload of drive um, as a result of that drive you've got the speed yeah then, sure. Anyone will tell you when it comes to surfing, you got a board that's giving you heaps of speed, you are absolutely styling. You, you yeah, especially for sort of your average, your average surfer where they, you know, you're not generating speed. I mean, you look at the pro surfers, their rail game and stuff where they're able to generate speed. It's, it's unbelievable. Um, yeah, it, it is unbelievable. And I mean, I guess that's the nice thing with a lot of these top international shapers is, you know, like they, have the luxury of feedback from those guys, but you know they, they, their deep understanding and knowledge of boards is they can take that feedback from the top oaks and they can actually put it in to a board to help and assist your intermediate average, you know, yeah. local ripper. And um, you know this board is, is is a perfect example of that. It's got a it's got a nice wide front, a wide point up front here. Mm -hmm. So again, very important, easy paddling. Yeah. Allowing you to get into the wave a lot quicker, which means you're up a lot quicker. Mm. And yeah, again, once you're up and standing and you lean on the tail in this board, this thing takes off like a well, like a yeah. rock. I mean, yeah, and it also maintains the speed uh, because of that sort of really flat planning surface area, just a lot of surface area. So it maintains that speed too. So yeah. very much so. Yeah. Very much. Come, come out of the uh, pocket and that speed's going to hold over the flat sections in your sort of average to miff days. Yeah, e exactly. And um, you know, what's kind of cool about JS, you know, is the, you know, being Aussie based, he's um, a lot of different guys kind of riding his boards. And I mean, yeah. if you're a music lover, you'll see all the follow the fish team, follow the fish. fish he's um, got a couple of sick clips riding black box three you know i mean mm. there's a you know, former pro surfer come dj obviously his main focus is to get people tearing tacky on the dance floor but um, 
Yeah, he's not necessarily surfing as much as he used to, but it was. When mm. you know, you, you know, you, you'll get to see some of the clips um, on our social media and that, and, and on JS's mm. social media. Yeah. And the guy's absolutely ripping in small, crappy little waves. And um, mm. you know, I, I, the most impressive thing about this board for me was the way that it actually held its speed through a turn. Um, okay. Which is pretty important. Yeah, yeah. So generally, holding speed through a turn is something you'd expect more from a board that maybe is a bit more curvy, like the, with a with a you know more yeah, more kick in the tail. It, and... That's that's kind of the the bar. But I mean, I, I, I notice with a lot of the top shapers today is that they've um, mm. they figured out that you know that that, that balance. That, yeah, that, that I think a lot of it's also down to the 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 hi-fi, the epoxy sort of construction. I mean that. That those that, that hi fi those boards just like load up and that recoil and you know, all of that like kinetic energy just when that thing pops out it just shoots you forward again. Particularly with the with the JS hi fi, like I say, you know, I probably mentioned it in relation to other boards, but yeah, this is a controlled flex. Mm. But the, you know, like so, it's it's not too much. Yeah, and it's it's not too little, you know. It's like mm. the perfect combo of when you lean, you can feel. When you do, yeah. it, I mean, you know, every, everything I've got to know about surfboards during my life is when you get that board that can hold its speed through a turn. Yeah, even better still, can start to accelerate through a turn. Yeah, that is a good board for you. Yeah, you know, not, not not every board's going to do it for you. Everybody's got different surfing styles. Some people are are, are more back More Some back foot. Are more Yeah, exactly. So, you know, it's you know what what a lot of people don't realize when it when it comes to boards. It's what what one really needs to try and do ultimately with one surfing is figure out what type of surfer you are. Yeah. You know, are you, and and speak to your mates like. You know, speak to the oaks you surf with. Like, yeah, get them to try and help you figure it out. You know, like, hey, am I, what, what am I doing? Where are my feet? You know, am I, does it look like I'm more on my front foot or mm. my back foot? Or because those little bits and pieces of information are certainly going to help you. Oh gosh, a whole bunch. When it yeah, comes yeah to I mean, I've had, I've had some. Huh? Yeah, I've had some input also from some like just local, well-respected guys that you know, on their day, they, they can rip, you know, and it's just, you know, front, front foot here and there, maybe got one guy said put the front foot a little bit further forward, uh, you know, and it does make a, it does make quite a big difference. Just those small little tweaks. I mean, you know, like you say, ask your mates, your mates will be able to say, mm, even if they don't rip and they don't maybe know the most about surfing, they can still see it's a whole lot more than you can. Oh, 100%. And I mean, like, I always say it to people, I mean, you, 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 you get the best feedback from people in the water, you know, they don't yeah. necessarily, they're paddling up to you to tell you that you flip and ripping it up or whatever, but it, but, yeah. it, but you know, just a, wow, that looked nice or mm. that board looks fast or yeah, you know, yeah, just yeah. little, yeah. little bits and pieces of info like that or Hey, they're gold, you know. And I mean, I, you know, when I'm surfing, I always like to, you know, a lot of the, the guys that surf at my local and the other locals, I'm always having an eye out for the boards that they're riding and what they're doing on those boards. And, dude, there's a, there are so many guys that can surf and, and surf really well. Mm. They're riding dogs. They're yeah. riding new dogs. And um, you can see. The moment they get a good board under their feet, all of a sudden, everything slows down. They're drawing their turns out more. They, you know, they're not trying to force anything. And I think yeah. when it comes to surfboard, that that that's kind of the key. You know, you want a you want a surfboard that kind of fits you and fits your style and has you has has the ability to assist and help you rather than hinder you. You know, mm. like. I went through a point in my in my in my in my surfing career where 
I was as fit as a fiddle. I was in the gym three times a week. I was running three times a week. I was surfing almost six hours a day. I, I was, no, I was, yeah. I was fit. I was <clears throat> in. The boards I was riding had a lot more volume. Back then in those days, I was getting a lot of boards from uh, a shaper called Baron Stander. And I worked closely with him and developed a couple of models with him. And those are some of the best boards that I ever had. Yeah. Um, so, much so that I kept a lot of them. Um, and I had all these boards in my garage. And then I got a little bit fat and out of shape. And <laughs> as you do, you know. I yeah, know. yeah. Life, what happened. life, what life goes on. <laughs> new boards, so I found myself riding my old boards. But yeah. A lot of stuff had changed and those boards were completely wrong for me. Yeah. And well, I could paddle into a wave, get up and go, like, they just were not feeling fun. Yeah, they yeah. They weren't feeling like they were helping me in any way and, yeah, I had to change gears and realize, that they do do yeah. racing anymore, you're not fitness ready anymore. You need to change yeah. your vibe and uh, get something that can float you a bit better, help you yeah, yeah, a bit yeah. better. Yeah, so that's about yeah. the vibe of like of, of, of Oaks not necessarily always selecting the right boards for them. They, they, they'll get a board and not maybe realize, you know, that board's more suitable to someone who surfs more on the back foot or, or vice versa. Um, you yeah. know, and then you've also got, you know, your rail. I mean, I know that board sort of got a, a medium, medium rail on it. Um, some guys like a really tucked rail. Uh, other guys like something that's more medium, uh, forgiving rail. Um, hey, this, yeah. this rail on this black box three is 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 really. I mean, oh man, if I can just kind of give that view of a pinched, yeah, kind of hand. Like that is a nice, easy, forgiving rail. Yeah. It although this board sits really proud on top of the water mm. like it's in no way hard to bury or, or, or sink the rail you know yeah um yeah which is key um like i say i mean you know yeah yeah all right cool. yeah, are, so that's the um, black box three hi-fi uh, squash tail versatile sure. sort of everyday board mostly geared towards the the more rubbish days, uh, but we'll still go. We'll still go up to up to five feet. Uh, something that gets a bit bowly. Um, I'll be honest with you. I mean, this is where I, I, I sometimes look at a board description, and I tend to disagree slightly because yeah. Yeah, this thing is not only for small shipwrecks. Yeah, I've ridden this thing in absolutely perfect cranking waves. Um, over the six foot mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, I found that the board's performance actually jumped up a notch mm. because of its rail line, the sharp edge. What a lot of other people, what a lot of people don't also realise is obviously the fin placement. Yes. And the angle of the fins is also key. Yeah. And that's what this board has. I mean, I rode this board with um, again my favourite AM2. Mm -hmm. Uh, large um, rode it as a quad as well very nice um, the fin I liked most on this board though was I rode it with the um, with the new puzzles okay and a little bit of a more rakey drivier kind of a fin mm -hmm. but this board really really liked it yeah um, yeah. yeah and oh man, yeah. super fast just incredible sort of maintenance of speed through a turn mm. and in some instances accelerating out of a turn, you know, like, yeah, I mean, one of my things I really like to do is, is which I guess <laughs> a lot of servers like to do is just to go like really fast. Yeah, yeah. And Oh, that board's definitely got, got loads of that. Yeah, the speed that this board generates and, and the ability to then come off the bottom and put it in the pocket and lean on it like mm. hard especially with those puzzles yeah like yeah oh, dude you just like it's incredible there's nothing better than coming out of a turn and you just dude you're actually going faster than you were when you came into the turn 
<laughs> yeah. Someone who's seamlessly transitioned into your next bottom turn. Yeah. It's amazing because on that second turn, by default, you're actually going more vertical and you're sitting tighter in the pocket. So yeah. you know, from that fast, hard carving type turn in the pocket, you're coming straight off the bottom and then you're going into the lip with like a tail blow or something. You know? And that's one thing that this board also got. It's got an extremely significant amount of pop to it. Um, I'm uh, getting uh, to be proverbially long in the tooth, as some would say. So <laughs> I'm not the young buck that's flying all over the show, but um, oh, this board definitely gave me enough speed to try and throw one or two airs, you know. And um, yeah, yeah, no, there we go. Lip, so really, with all that speed, yeah, so, very, really, very, so really good mod modern board, uh, nice and versatile. Uh, sure. Yeah, and we'll 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 go in the absolute rubbish stuff and can still handle uh, the bigger days. Oh, so again, you know, like look at this board; it's it's the solid buy, um, very wide range from the small crap stuff mm. all the way through to the pumping to the pumping stuff. Again, yeah. the ability to ride it with a couple of different fins, yeah, does a lot to the board and and, and makes it go differently. 